What is up my YouTubers? It's Jennifer and I'm coming at you with a, well we'll just say a shopping haul because I ordered some things like a thousand months ago and I've been waiting for things to come in, come in, come in and well today is the day because I have off of work. Um, today is actually Cora's birthday. She would have been three today, well today's date. Um, but that's for another video. But I decided since I have off I might as well do this. Okay, so I have an array of packages. I mean, like, they're literally taking up my entire bed. So we're just going to start, dive right into it. As always, once a month, you guys know, if you don't know, I have a dog. His name's Diego. You might have seen him in past videos. So, of course, I order off of Chewy.com. It would be awesome if they ever tried to send me free stuff because, you know, that would be awesome. I love Chewy.com. It's a, a great site for any pet owner. Uh, whether you have cats, dogs, horses, rabbits, doesn't really matter, reptiles, they d ship right to your address. It saves the convenience of going out to the store. And I have, I mean, ordered from them for like, you know, you can change your shipping dates. You can add stuff, delete stuff. I do auto ship because it's just more convenient and you get a discount then. So yeah, Diego got some stuff. He got a Rachel Ray soup bone, the chicken kind. And a duck sweet potato. I think that's the, yeah, that's the dog food. And then the Merrick Power Bites beef treats. He can smell this. He's very excited. He's on the floor. So, like I said, we got the Rachel Ray soup bones. I don't like Rachel Ray's. There he is. If you guys saw him. Um, I will give him one now. I don't care for her dog food, but the dog treats seem to do okay with him, which is pretty good. Go puppy. Yeah, and I'm not going to show them right now because I have too much stuff on my bed. So, um, yeah, so that's the soup bones. Sorry about the glare. I have my window open, but you guys can pause it and read it if you guys want. I don't you know. And then we have, let's see, I don't know where to throw this whole story. So we have the, um, I decided to get him the, I don't know what these are. Which, these are the, I guess they're like, I have the rabbit bites, but I decided to get him a different one. So that's that one. Again, you guys can pause and read if you want. And then, like I said, I got the um, four pound bag, the duck and sweet potato recipe. He seems to, um, American Journey, like I say in all my um, chewy box hauls, is that I love American Journey. He does really, really well on it. So that's that. All right, so now we're going to dive into this. Um, no, not that. We'll dive into this item. This I got yesterday. Um, and if you guys see my address on there, well, it's a P.O. box address. So if you guys want to send me stuff, cool. Um, I'm obsessed with Elf in Wonderland. So, but this I ordered off of Amazon. I, I kind of can feel, feel what it is. So, and I, I've been wanting these for a while. And I have no, this is what happens when I'm Christmas shopping for my family. And then I impulse shop for other things. And like myself. Huh. Hilarious. So, yeah. So, I got the, um, they are from a company, um, I think it's from Sea Green. Anyways, so they're dowsing rods. Um, like I said, I just apologize for the glare, but they are dowsing rods. If you guys don't know what dowsing rods are, they're like little tools that you guys can hold in your hand and they're supposed to like, they were used by the Indians like a thousand years ago. They have like the description on it and stuff. I'm not going to pull it out right now. Um, I'll do that later and show you guys how to use them. Um, or you could just YouTube thousands of people like using dowsing rods. But basically, Indians used to use them to find water. They are used to find spirits or water. I don't know. Copper. I like them because they are copper, which is kind of nice. So, and I've I've used dowsing rods once ever, I think, but it's been a long time. All right, so we're going to dive into, okay, this box is also from Amazon. This is um, a box for Diego, and it is a doggy advent calendar. He knows it's for him. He's like sitting here. I don't know if I can get him up here, but anyways, so we're going to open this one. And I ordered a doggy advent calendar because, I don't know, I just figured he needs some Christmas treats too. 
And everybody I've seen has been doing these advent calendars on YouTube, and I've decided, well, why not get him one? But this is what it is. Oh my god, that glare is horrible. I apologize. So that's what it is. And then this is the back of it. It comes with a different treat every day. I'm, I'm going to wrap this up and give it to him. I'm not going to give it to him today. It's 24 assorted treats for dogs. Best friends advent calendar. And like I said, it has different treats from different um, companies and stuff. So I'll put that up here for right now because I will wrap that later. Um, also, I'm going to be linking everything that I bought. Um, I don't know if it will have a clickable link or just like what I bought in the prices of them. So yeah, because um, I forgot to tell you guys the prices of everything at the moment. Uh, anyways, so we're going to be moving on to my sister. So for my sister for Christmas, I got her a couple things. Um, I got her three items so far. I went on hottopic.com, dot, hot topic basically. And um, they were having a sale, so I got my sister some things. Now, my sister is kind of, like, picky about certain things, and so it was very hard to shop for her. She was, like, one of the last people I shopped for. But some of the items I got were too funny. Um, so I got her these um, Star Wars socks. And they have, like, the intro to Star Wars, which is really, really cool. And, oh, cool! So, apparently, when you purchase um, $30 or more, which I did, you get, like, a little, huh, gift thing. Cool. Anyway, so, yeah, I got her the socks. I probably will wrap, probably rewrap those and give them to her for Christmas. Would you move your butt, Diego? Come on. Sorry, my dog's, like, it's, sorry, he's, like, trying to get out of the bedroom and he can't. Anyway, so then I got her... Which I'm really hoping that this item fits. It's um, a Star Wars Lack of Cheer Crew Fleece Sweatshirt. And it, I ordered it in a large. And this is what it is. Oh yeah, that should so fit her. I ordered it in a large because I like my sweatshirts to run big. I'm sure, I'm sure like who doesn't? So I figured, but yeah, I thought that was so funny. Um, just because she's she loves Star Wars. So I had to get her that. That is just, it's so funny. And it's so soft. Um, it's kind of thin, but it's a sweatshirt. And she's always cold, so I'm excited for that. Um, I'm trying to think of which. Okay, so then this is also for my sister. This came from Amazon. Um, and like I said, she's kind of hard to pick, pick out things for. And she loves fuzzy stuff. And she's like, she's always cold, so I had to get her something. Um... But this is a set. It's they had a different um, bunch of different colors, and she's into teal right now. Well, they didn't really have a teal one. Oh my god, this is the oh my gosh! I want this for myself, dude. Again, I think I ordered this in a large, and it is a um, hoodie fleece. This material feels like you know those blankets, those like really soft blankets. That's what this feels like. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love. This oh my god and then here are the they have um stretchy pants and they're just you know I don't know if she'll like the bottoms but like this is the set and um oh my gosh this feels so comfortable she's gonna be so stoked I'm so excited to have her wear these I kind of want to give them to her before Christmas I might actually do that because we're kind of having my brother-in-law is gonna be working out of town for Christmas he's coming back for Thanksgiving and we're gonna do Christmas for Thanksgiving so I might just wrap all these up and give them to her that day just like my um nephew's gift because i'm get my my nieces have their birthdays on the 23rd and 30th of november um so we're kind of doing christmas and birthdays all at thanksgiving time so i might just rewrap everything from them and give it to them then that's a good idea i don't know why i just thought of doing that that's good okay so yeah then my mom my mom I had a thousand different ideas for but this year I decided to get her um, Godiva chocolates so it's so funny right so I couldn't remember where I shipped these to if I shipped them to the P box or if I shipped them to my sister's house and either way I knew my mom would have to pick them up so when oh and the hot topic gifts right I had to ship those to my sister's house I told my sister that if she sees um, 
gifts from the company. She can go ahead and order them. Well, she didn't. But I don't think she knew that Hot Topic was for her. She might have thought the good... Um, well, the Hot Topic went to her. So she might have seen it. I don't know. The Godiva chocolates went to the peel box. And my mom picked them up. And she goes, oh, you got a package from Godiva chocolates. She might have thought I was giving that to Susie. I don't know. But... Or maybe she'll forget by the time she gets them. So, yeah. Um... I probably, I'm going to probably rewrap this in this box, but hopefully I can rewrap it in this box. Okay, so we got a little, a gift from, a gift message. So yeah, you, when you order from Godiva Chocolate, you can have the option to put this as a gift and then you can write a little message. And I just wrote on there like, it says, enjoy the world's most legendary chocolate specially suited for you. And I put happy Christmas mom on there. Um, and then, so I got, I'm not going to take them out of the bubbling wrap though, because that would be, so this is 85% pure cocoa, and I know you guys are going to kill me in the comments because of the glare, but we got that one, and then, um, I got two different, uh, also 85% chocolate ones, there's some mini bars, there's chocolate and coffee, I think these are just two of them, I think these three came together. So there's that one. I know, I know, I know the glare. And then I got her the Godiva chocolate coffee. And it's a medium roast. It's 100% Arab, Arab, Arabian, Arabic, whatever it's called. So yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways. And then um, the last thing I got her was the Christine Biscuits. I don't know if she's going to like the biscuits, but that's what I got her. And I think, oh yeah, here we go. So this is everything I got her. You guys can see. It might have the prices on there. I don't know. Does it have the prices on there? No, it doesn't. But basically, I'm very excited about these because, I mean, she, she loves chocolate. And I personally am not the biggest chocolate fan, but I thought this would be awesome because she's always in the store saying oh you know like I need dark chocolate or whatever and I put some like dark chocolate Hershey Kisses in the fridge the other day because I just didn't want them they were leftover Halloween candy because they came in like one of those assorted kits and she was very stiff so anyway so I will rewrap that box and give that to her okay so then um this item here is um is a tent right so I'm not going to open this right now. I'll do this in a different um, video because it's a bright pink tent and it's a two man tent, two person tent, two man, two person. And I got this because I uh, ordered this way before my birthday because I was going to go camping for my birthday and I decided, uh, well, like me and Diego, I was going to take him camping and I didn't. So yeah, but I will open that later. That was from Walmart. Um, and again, I'm going to link all these prices below because it's just too long to like say individual prices. All right, so now diving in to, I have two more things. Um, I'm waiting for the big, excuse me, my nose is ready. Big item last. Okay, so of course I ordered from Shin Shen, Shin Shen again. Um, and okay, so if you guys have seen any of my Shin hauls or any of the um, Shen, Shin Shen hauls that people do, well, like, anyways, you come in the, they come in these little, Cute little bags if you get clothing, which is awesome. Um, so I ordered, okay, TMI, but you know what? I don't care. So I got um, some thongs because, well, I'm a girl. And these were a set of one, two, three, a set of four for um, some price. I can't remember right now, obviously. And then I got, oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so I thought this was bigger than what it was going to be. So this is what the box looks like, and we're going to open this. We are going to open this. Okay. So this is a... Oh my god, it's so cute. I didn't know I ordered the pink one. It is a... Um, it's supposed to be a little humidifier. And it's like a little, like, 19-whatever um, radio. And it comes with a USB cord. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to have to figure out how to open this. And... Oh, okay. So this part back here twist, Like, twist, And you just, I guess, open it. Oh, okay. Well, that's not very big, but that's okay. So, yeah, if you guys could see that at all, which, oh, there you go. 
I don't know if you can, but yeah. So it's just like an empty thing, and then it has, you know, your little water spout thingy, and then you put it back together, hopefully properly, and then you turn this back up. So I'm excited to try that. I will try that out. Hey, you know what? On my um, try-on haul, I can try out the tent and my um, little humidifier. I got, it was kind of pricey for that, I think, if I remember right. And it's so funny because I love ordering things off of Shin Shin. Because, like, look at the instructions. They're all in, like, whatever language that is. And, but it's so cool. I mean, obviously, there's pictures on there. So, if you guys can't read the language, and I can use Google Trans, Trans, whatever it's called, where you can transfer the language. But, yeah. And this is a cute little box. So, I might keep that box, actually. I don't know why. Don't ask. I don't know why. All right. So, then we got, okay, this is. Oh, okay. I was like, what is this? It's, yeah, don't ask. It's from the thingy. So I've seen two people, I think, on YouTube. Jazzy Bum and somebody else. Order, holy health balls. Okay. Order with work off, workout equipment off of Sheen. And I ordered one of those legs. <laughs> oh, Yes, because I'm building up my collection of, um, what is it called? Um, oh, what are these? What is it called? A workout equipment. So, yeah, um, I'm excited for that. It's, you know, it's like one of those leg shaper thingies or thigh master thingies, you know, that people used to use, that people probably still use, and I don't know if they still use them or not. But anyways, okay. Then... I'm trying to take everything out of here so I can look at. Then I got this, and I have no idea what this is. Um, let's see, where are you? Oh, okay, yeah. So then I got um, some more pretty lacy thongs because they're girly, and that's a three pack. That did not come in a fancy sheen pan bag, but um, oh, cool. Okay, so this is everything I got. Yeah, so that's everything I got. Um, and then. I got, okay, now these right here, if you guys can tell at all, um, these are glider disc, and I've had, I mean, I didn't have these, I stole my mom's a long time ago, but they were in my apartment fire, and um, I use, you know, frisbees work just the same, but, so yeah, they have this like weird, like, I, they're like smooth on one side so you can glide across your carpet or I don't know if they'd work on like a hardwood or tile floor. They probably would, but they would squeak. That would be kind of annoying. They're supposed to, you're supposed to use them on a mat, I think, like a yoga mat. I don't know. But I have carpet, so I'm assuming that you can use this side on the carpet. And then your feet are supposed to like, this is like a, I don't know what that material is, but your shoes won't slide off of them, hopefully. Or if you're like me and you are stupid and you use them with socks on. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Now, this, these I am obsessed with. I saw these and I had to get them. And I might have accidentally just reordered the exact same thing. Because I couldn't remember if I bought them or not. But anyways, so these are in a medium. And this is what they are. They are so, like I said, I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland, and they're so, um, what's that, Mad Hatter type of pants, and they're so cool, like, it is, like, these are so cool, and these are really, I mean, they seem like they're really long, they seem like my other ones, and I can't remember if I ordered a medium or large in my other pants that I, like, bought from Sheen, but hopefully those won't be too big, because I know the other ones that I ordered... Um, were slightly big, which was good. It's just, they're not like, they're, they're great because they're big because then they are breathable, but they're big in a sense that like, I feel like they're going to fall down any minute. Anyways. Um, and I think I try, I did do a try on haul with those, but all right. So this is kind of disappointing. All right. So, yeah, okay, this is not what I thought it was going to be. This was expensive. Okay, so I'm just going to, yeah, so it's a teapot, right? I mean, okay. let's just take it out because there's a glare. Basically, 
you have this part here. We're, we're going to build this. Well, I might build this in a different thing. Basically, it's a clock. It's supposed to be a teapot that pours over a clock. And I should, I'm going to probably insert the clip somewhere on my page, if I can figure out how to do that, of what it's supposed to be. And I thought it was going to be not thin. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, this is kind of expensive. But literally, this is like, I mean, if you guys can see that, it's like literally just like a flimsy thing. But, and I'm not understanding... Well, it, it's supposed to be like, you know, like a thing, like you're supposed to put this kind of like, I mean, if you guys can see that, that's like water droplets and stuff, and then you have the cup, and it's supposed to be like poured, um, and, and it's, oh my goodness, it's like, this, it's like spray painted, but it's like coming off of my hands, and you guys probably can't see that, but like, look, it's like, ugh, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to put this together and see how I like it because that's very disappointing that it's not what I thought it was going to be. I mean, it, it for the price, I'm like, really, you're charging this? And now, and, and look at this. Okay, this is like cheap. It's it's just, it's cheap. But I guess, you know, it's a, it is, it's sheen. I mean, I should have known. I mean, it's better than Wish. I will say that. It's much better than Wish. But yeah, so this just takes one... One, I think, AAA battery. And then it has a little dial knob. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play with this right now. But I'm kind of disappointed with that. Alright, so now my last item. I ordered this so long ago. And I cannot, for the life of me, figure out which email address I use this. Um, but I found I found the price of it. Because I know this is basically from the YouTuber CG Faison. You guys ha um, don't know he's like he does a lot of like haunted he goes to a lot of abandoned places he's he's been on YouTube for like forever he he used to be a race car driver um, and now I'm gonna link his information below I also bought his Honeycut Farm shirt well he owns um, Honeycut Farm in Delaware I think it is anyways so he isn't he's gonna tear down the Honeycut Farm because it's like a very not good um, place and any of his merchandise that's from the Honeycut Farm, he's no longer going to make and sell. So I um, have the t-shirt, which is so comfortable. Oh, my God. And it's so well worth the money. But I had to get the um, Honeycut Farm hoodie. And this was in a size... This is a medium. So this is what it looks like. And I... I didn't know it was like an army thing. I thought it was just black, but that's actually kind of cool. And like I said, I like my hoodies and stuff to be um, kind of big. And I'm not a big like coat person. I love coats, but, and then you get like, there he is. There's CJ face. Okay, so he get you get this little card in it. He used to sign the packages, but I think it's just easier for him to sign the cards now, which is actually really cool. So yeah, um, if you guys don't know, check out his site, CJ Faison. There he is. Awesome. I will be tagging you, CJ. Thank you. Like I said, I ordered this so long ago and I've been waiting. I ordered this back in September. So yeah, and it's like November. I just, I wanted to wait until I got a lot of things to open. But I am super stoked for this. And I will be trying this on with my pants. Not, well, you know, in my other try and haul. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I also have some more items coming in. I have items coming in sporadically because, like I said, I kind of went a little selfish shopping haul for Christmas for myself. Anyways, but I will be linking everything you got um, below. I also will be posting all of these pictures on my Instagram channel, so make sure to follow that. I will be posting a teaser of when this video will be uploaded on Instagram, so you guys check, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel because I do post randomly, hit that bell so when I do post and you would like to see any of my videos, then you know when they come out, and comment below um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, or if you want me to try something specific, like I can do a workout, um, workout video, which would be very interesting since I'm so out of shape. 
But you guys stay awesome and I'll catch you next time. Bye.